Hey guys, welcome to our tech video. Today we are going to be looking at top 10 websites that will allow you to download softwares from without having to pay for anything or sign up for anything. But before we start, be sure to like, subscribe and comment to this channel if you're new. But if you're not better, just ring the notification bell and be sure to put anything you think we have left out right there in the comments section. Now, in no particular order, we're going to be looking at getting to PC. We're going to be looking at GitHub. We are going to be looking at SourceForge. We are going to be looking at FileHippo. We're going to be looking at CNET, amongst many others that I've put in that list. Now, for you to access that list, just go into the descriptions. You will find links there. The links are monetized so that we are able to actually sustain the channel. But the first list is going to have the ultimate 10 and the other link is going to have extra links that I think will be helpful for you guys now enough of the talking and now let's get ready and let's roll to my screen thank you hello guys and welcome back to my screen now let's get started before we start be sure you get the item internet download manager it will make your life a whole lot easier before we start and others if you can't get idm then you need to get jd j downloader others let's pop straight up into our list now the first one in our list is getting to into pc now there is no there is no software that you will search for and will not find in this website this website is just top notch guys and i like it so you can sort by Categories, you no know, separate operating system, 3D CAD, graphic design, multimedia development, antivirus, educational or tutorials. But what I'm telling you guys is you will find literally almost every one of any software that you want. And most of the times they have given you either a way to actually bypass the, the, the activation or it is already activated. I love this site guys, this is why it's number one and I would recommend this site at any day and any time to anyone. For example, let us search for one of these uncommon let's just search for Photoshop and let's get to see, you see, Photoshop, this one was uploaded about 12 hours ago, this one 5 days ago, this one a month ago, that's 2020 software version and guys, I'm telling you this site is just it is just the site to go to even when you want you know the smallest of all softwares in general paper yes that one you see you can all you just need to do is click but normally it doesn't like what you call it uh ads block so i normally have to remove my ad block plus and then straight head up for it it gives you a preview gives you screenshots of the software that you want to download the full size setup and the compatibility the version so it gives you a few screenshot it also gives the tech the minimum tech requirements or the standard tech requirements i guess that i needed for the software to run and then it gives you this download button and then it also gives you some suggestions there and yeah it also gives you like uh, some post comments so it is good for you to just scroll down into the comment section and just see what it says and if it needs a password like this one it needs a password I don't I'm not sure if it needs a password but normally if they need if it needs a password they mention it in the article and then you just click download and then you wait for it to just download and so I'm telling you this site is smart this site has a almost every software Wherever Fatma is, she's doing a good job updating that site. And I've seen several sites that have duplicated her idea or her software. As I said, get this software item. It makes your life a whole lot easier now. Now that we have learned how to download from the site, we're going to move on to the second one, which is Source. Source. What you call it? Sourceforge.net. Now, this is an open source. An open source kind of thing business software it gives you like uh you know a, you can categorize it into various forms and things that you like something like that but let's for now look at um, ht security like if you want security for your computer these are the places to find the, soft, the software so it is these little softwares that actually matter at times because at times we are not looking for you know big softwares like adobe you're not looking for microsoft sometimes you just want to 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 browse privately so you need this tour browser and this is 
the place where you get them you get you get you also get you know uh wi-fi exploit uh, wi-fi exploit what do you guys call them yes so of course like to test the security of your wi-fi and it gives you so much debugging software and equipment to actually do and at this site is worth guys bookmarking like that and i'm telling you i also bookmarked getting to pc so this software is the point guys it is the thing if you want security if you want you know that software the small software that actually matter for your business for whatever you need this is the website to go as you guys can see how do you go there you can either go to the view visit website or view the software that you want for example let's say we want mm, we want this click data we go it says visit that and then it gives you so this is how legit the site is it gives you the free time the free trial and the website again so this site is the place to go to i could give you i'm going to give you a place uh an extras list in the download in the comment section in the what you call it in the description uh i will add an extra sites that are an alternative to getting these softwares that are listed here also for free and now let's move on to the third one it is all pc world now this guy is almost similar to getting to pc and i like them both the same because they kind of like i have the same stuff but it gives me like an alternative way of downloading see the template is almost same just different colors and stuff like that otherwise yep so you just got the and we search for adobe 20, 2020 that is photo cc photoshop cc and see it gives you also the features of the program a few shots screenshots and stuff like that and then it gives you the download links right there so by clicking the button i hope this is just not an end right so it takes you through the process the same process as getting to pc then you just have to wait a little bit and then it's gonna make you wait again a little bit and then you go it's going to start downloading like that again and i'm not going to download that because i already have that now let's move on to the next one the next one is file hippo now on file hippo you are literally going to find almost the latest software release versions that are there on the internet like this site is legit up to up to date it is regularly updated like for example let's go and find our security and vpn software categories like you categorize this into web apps news reviews top programs and stuff like that now you see touch vpn you have got literally you have everything everything and this is a legit site guys this this software guys you should take note of it it's very it's very very important yes now that's how cool the site is it gives you everything links to antiviruses vpn web apps and let's take a look at some of the web apps that they have see they have you know the pixel image eset online and scanner photo from there see they have got a whole lot of things and i'm just bothered by this news sometimes it's just not necessarily too much news at the bottom that's one thing i don't like about the software about the software but you guys can see how many downloads are happening and it is very it is called heavy traffic and yeah so this site is also worth looking at guys and see it gives you a description the technical the change log and you can you get the you get to visit the website to download that and yeah that's what i like about the site it gives you the latest version of the software that you want so don't miss it if you want this list get it in the description it is there i have to monetize the link so the link is probably monetized and you see a few adverts it's not a virus it's just an advert because i really need to support my channel and thank you guys for supporting by subscribing now the next one is pirate city pirate city will give you some torrents and some of the stuff that you never thought you'd find so we are going to look for our wallpaper wallpaper engine software this software i'm just using it as a typical one simply because okay 
they don't have this one but let's try to look for something else you're right so they have this software this major software like choreo draw suit 2019 and as you can see it has got fairly okay programs but most of them are the big programs you again autocad photoshop it, they might not all be up to date but i believe if you have the right links to actually accessing the softwares then yes you will find the one that you want to see web design it's giving you a bootstrap it gives you uh, fireworks it gives you news it's giving you a whole long list of them so definitely the site is worth checking out and i think it's worth considering you know because it does give you a lot a lot of options to download from now the next one that i like is file host now the thing with the previous site is that it gives you even the link and the sometimes the discrete the the serial keys and the crack as well but with file host like file hippo it gives you the latest but not with key but they're actually the latest software releases that are available on the market so for example this is the adobe character animator cc 2020 the latest one malware bytes 411 the latest one you know both games you've got you know network programs you've got you know antiviruses there you've got you no know, browsers there everything is the latest releases and for softwares like opera that regularly put out updates like no man's business this is the place where you can find the latest update like this is the place where you can find the latest update of that software and it's good to go now the next one is ask for pc now this site is a bit clustered uh, that's one certain issue. It's, it looks very classic. It has got a lot happening on its front page. Uh, look at this. It's got so many pictures. I don't even know what to look at right now. It's giving you all these options Adobe, Adobe Seed, and you know, advanced. So it has got a lot of stuff that's going on. You can select a category for now. We want to select, you know, maybe s system utilities, you know. Uh, yep, and let's go to see where it says um where you see what i mean it's got so many so much of system utilities this is technically it's, it's got so much stuff happening so it's giving you rev1 installer cc cleaner you know advanced system automate i orbit and installer it's got a whole lot of programs that will help you guys this is the place to go to for example let's try i'll be an installer all right as you guys can see it gives you an option to actually download that this is a pre-activated there's a pre-activated version of it of it and it's in the raw version so these are the links that you could use these are the links that you could use now if you use WinRAR. If you want to use your winra but you don't have winra you get it right there so yep that's it that's it guys ask ask for ask for my pc text that is probably the password to this if it needs a password sometimes and it gives you on a how to install short answer things and yeah I, that's basically it so you guys need to try this out if you want to download you can just go here where it says click in one of those links and it will take you to where you need to go you might come across a few ads but it eventually takes you to where you can download your software then the next one the next legit software is a cdent guys this software has got okay this website is okay but i hate the news there's so much news going on here yeah 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 there's something wrong with this with the way they've organized stuff because we i think they should have put this section right on top or something like that or is this big banner too big it doesn't i think even though they focus on apps but their 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 front screen doesn't really look like they focus on apps but they actually do that anyway they give you a list of softwares that you can get and obviously most of them are for sale and you have to buy them but i think this is one of the places you can get any software that you want for free if it's available for free and paid they will give you an option to buy so there it goes there it goes so it gives you the pros and cons of the uh, 
program, the user reviews, it gives you the specs that are expected of your machine, it gives you the publishers de de details and a few screenshots, and then it gives you a download link or a buy now feature right there. So I don't really use the site that much, that is why it is almost at the end of the list, but it is definitely worth trying for trying if you're looking for your particular softwares especially these heavy duty softwares and these literally seriously monetized or oh, not monetized but huge company softwares like adobe and microsoft and other you know level things and iobet stuff right and second from last guys is github is it second from last uh it is github now github is a software for developers so most of y'all might not be well aware of what github is but it is a place where software developers merge and they just put out their codes there so it is like uh as it reads here from open source to business you can host and review code manage products build software products 50 million developers what, what, what. so this is the hub for a creator's hub yeah right that's the word so if you want to browse this website without actually having to sign up or sign in what you can do is you're gonna hit explore you can come here and then you can explore this the packages but since we want to explore the site we're gonna hit explore and then we're gonna hit explore github and there you can see is what's popular today and then there's this then go there's background matting you know it gives you a whole lot of stuff like i don't even use this stuff but all i know is this thing is the real thing like if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one perspective of what developers think about certain programs then this is the place for you to be it gives you a, an option to see the topics the trends you know it gives you you know it gives you like if you're familiar with this you know these are developer softwares you know python and r softwares and stuff like that and you know and their pricing you can get them there but i would not, i have never bought something from this side because i'm not a developer but it is a good place for you to check out the software and read reviews about the software that you want before you actually install it into your computer so yeah and the last one is file puma guys file puma like file hippo is also about the latest updates and as you can see it is very simplified and quite annoying to look at because of just how it looks uh, it's got so much text and the text looks a bit small for me and there's so much space here that they wasted yeah see this is all space that has been wasted and i think it could be utilized in a fair manner uh, but yep this is where you get also some of the latest software releases that are there on the internet now we can go to education and say science and let's see the kind of softwares that they say we have sterilama sterilama and then you've got dos and you can get to download from these sites now you are downloading your program is now downloading you can either restart your download or stuff like that or you could accept the cookies but it's not safe now see what i told you guys you really need to use idm now that we are done we can obviously enable our ads block as always otherwise guys that was it for me today and if you guys have any questions and any suggestions about this video if you think i left out any website in this video put it down below in the comment section so that we can include it in our list next time guys thank you guys for liking and supporting this channel we wouldn't go anywhere without your support and remember i only monetize the links that i give you simply because we need to sustain the channel the channel needs us to support it but your views and your likes and your subscriptions they matter thank you guys and